guys, so as you guys saw by the title of this video, today is a lip swatched video and I have here all of these um, Lime Crime Velveteens. These are the fake ones that you see on Wish, AliExpress, eBay, etc, etc. I got mine from Wish from three different sellers. Um, <laughs> Yes, I got these from three different sellers and they differ slightly in um, formula from seller to seller so keep in mind that if you buy from, buying from different sellers you'll probably won't get the same formula in every one of them. I only have 10 from the whole spectre of the vel fake Velveteens line but I don't really want to buy any other color. I just want to buy these colors so I feel like this is the right time to do a split swatch video but I feel like 10 colors is kind of a reasonable amount to do a swatch video. I, I feel like it's a reasonable amount. So this is by no means a comparison with the real Lime Crimes. I have no real ones so I cannot do a comparison. I just treat them like they are independent lipsticks different from the real ones. I am not, this, this is just, you know, this is a disclaimer. Let's, let's just say it out loud. This is a disclaimer that I am not comparing these with the real ones. I could not compare them with the real ones because I do not own the real ones. I just bought these because they are cheaper, they are easier to get and the packaging is kind of cute. That's the only reason why I got them and because I like the colors. I'm not comparing them with the real ones. I am not saying that one are better than the other. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. I'm just reviewing the colors itself and the fakeness. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just reviewing some lipsticks, swatching some lipsticks. Just on a quick note, the last ones that I got, and I got them in a whole batch, were these these four Jinx, Swayberry, Cement, and Pansy. And I got them four from the same seller. And these were, were the last ones that I got. And these are amazing. These stay really well on your lips and they don't smudge, they dry quite nicely, they, they dry fast and they smell like coconuts and vanilla, which so good. I feel like these are the best ones that I got from the whole bunch of them that I got. I got them from three separate sellers, as I said before, but I am in love with these, especially. So as a point of reference, the, this is my natural lip color, so if you have a similar lip color to this, it's possible that you're gonna get the same effect. Note that the swatches differ from skin tone to skin tone, so keep that in mind. Also, not also, but <laughs> they're not sheer, they're actually pretty, pretty opaque, so I feel like they are pretty good. And if you have more pigmented lips, I feel like you won't have any trouble because these are quite opaque. I don't have any trouble with them, so that's good. So anyways, I feel like I've talked way too much that I should have, so yeah, let's get on to the swatches right away.
was all the swatches that I have for you today. My lips are burning because this was way too much swatching. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that they weren't really that um, transparent, they were really opaque. Uh, I feel like they are very opaque. The only ones that I do recommend to put a little bit more product are Cashmere, Suedeberry, um, Salem. I mean, Salem, you can get away with Salem without patches, but I would recommend putting a little bit more product. Uh, yeah, I think those are the ones that you should, and Jinx, I think those are the, the ones that you should put a little bit more product, but as you see, they are very opaque and I didn't really need a second layer, just put a little bit more product on top of it, I didn't really need to layer it over much. Oh, where is the sun going? The sun is running away from me. <laughs> Overall, I do enjoy them and I forgot to tell at the beginning of the video that they dry matte and if you saw by the swatches that they didn't really dried mattes, they are, were a little bit, um, if you saw by the swatches that they had a little bit of shine to it, it was simply because I didn't really wanted them to dry out because they are a bitch to take off, so this video would take a whole lot of time to do if I did let them dry, but I usually take them off with a micellar water, I use Garnier's um, micellar water, or if you are really struggling to take off liquid lipstick, any liquid lipstick, it will easily break down if you use olive oil, which I know it sounds insane to put olive oil on your lips, but just put a little bit with like a cotton pad or some something, just put a little bit of olive oil in there, let the lipstick break down and it will be so easy to take off, I promise you. If you have the struggles taking off liquid lipstick, just use olive oil, it's like the best thing ever and it's changed my world and it's Amazing. So yeah, the only reason reason that I did not let them dry matte is simply because it would be a bitch to take off and yeah, we wouldn't we would be here till like tomorrow or something because it would be a long ass video. But yeah, overall I do enjoy them so comfortable to wear. Actually this is the time that I'm actually trying Pansy. I haven't even swatched Pansy since I got it. I don't know why. But yeah, they are so comfortable, although they only have one thing that I dislike, is that after 2-3 hours they do start to peel off like a little bit and reapplying them is not that... it's not that great reapplying, no, this, this, that's the only thing that I have to complain about them but other than that I really do enjoy them. Also, I kind of totally forgot that Salem, Salem smells like bubblegum. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this swatch video, I hope I'm not forgetting anything, if I am forgetting anything I will leave it down below in the annotations, in the description, annotations? Description, I'll leave it down below in the descriptions. Comment down below which one was your favorite shade, if you have any shades outside of this range that you would like me to try out, or if you have tried out any shades outside of this range that you think they would suit my skin tone, my pale as a wall skin tone, and yeah, subscribe if you're not already, let's be friends. Put a like on it and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!